if you're comparing this to a normal car, the engine actually isn't in the front, it's actually in the back. So all that you've got in the front here are your accessories essentially for your car. So you've got the 12 volt battery, all the fuses, your washer fluids, um, your brake and your power steering fluids, and just a couple of um, circuitry for the accessories part of the car. The battery for the actual car, which powers the main part of the car, is located at the bottom of the car between the two axles. The motor and the engine for the car is behind the rear passenger seats and that's where the charger inverter is also located on the car. So it's nice and small in the front because there really isn't much to it in the front. The unit which will supply power to the car to charge the batteries. Um, two piece, so with one piece would basically fit on the garage wall and then a, a hose cable reel which could be moved um, to, uh, to suit the, the height of the person using it, etc. So this is just a mock-up to show. It's fixed cable, so it plugs directly into the car with a, a specific uh, standard. So it's not a usual type of connector you would see. So therefore, you know, no other plugs can certainly be put inside the car. So the car's from Mitsubishi. The car's from Nissan, the Nissan Leaf, the, the Holden or Chevy Volt the Toyota plug-in Prius, they're all coming with this as standard. Yeah. The, this can supply 15 amps, so it could be approximately uh, 60 hours. It's really what we would call a, a slow charger, an overnight charger. And the overnight charging is principally where all the charging will be done. Our thinking is that within this decade we will start to see a much higher number of EVs on the road in general use by normal motorists and uh, so, so with that will come a need to provide some form of roadside assistance, whatever that might be. Um, uh, a small uh, petrol generator motor driving through a um, AC uh, generator through to a uh, charging module there, to a connector there. In about 15 minutes it can deliver enough charge for about 5 kilometres of driving, which is enough for that driver to get to a place where they can recharge it properly.